Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 71 through 75. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 71. In a cloud-native infrastructure where microservices are extensively used, the DevOps team seeks a solution that offers load balancing, encryption, and observability to ensure the performance, security, and monitoring of their containerized applications. Which of the following technologies would best fulfill these requirements? The answer is D. Service Mesh. A service mesh for containers is a dedicated infrastructure layer that handles communication between microservices within a containerized application. It provides a set of network functionalities such as load balancing, service discovery, encryption, and observability to enhance the reliability, security, and performance of the application. Question 72. A team of developers asks an engineer to ensure that journal log files remain after system reboots. Which setting? If applied in the journal d.conf file located in the forward slash etc forward slash system d directory fulfills this requirement? The answer is C. Storage equals persistent. The storage equals persistent setting in the journal d.conf file ensures that journal log files persist across system reboots. When this setting is configured, systemd journal d will store the journal logs on disk, allowing them to survive system restarts. This ensures that valuable log information is retained even after the system shuts down and boots up again. Question 73. Which of the following commands will allow a technician to execute a time-consuming process while still managing other tasks within the same terminal session? The answer is A. No hub command ampersand. When performing tasks within a terminal session, no hub ensures a command's continuity despite hangups, while the ampersand runs the command in the background. As for the command parameter, this specifies the task to execute. Alternatively, if pausing the execution is acceptable, the BG command can also be used. Question 74. While troubleshooting SSH connection issues on a Linux server, a system administrator discovers that modifying the SSH configuration file is necessary. Which of the following commands should the administrator use to ensure that the changes made to the SSH configuration file are applied? The answer is C. Systemctl reload sshd. The system ctl reload sshd command instructs the system to reload the ssh daemon configuration without disconnecting active ssh sessions. This allows any changes made to the ssh configuration file to take effect immediately. Question 75. Which of the following commands would allow a network administrator to check the link status of a network interface named Ethernet0 on a Linux server? The answer is D. IP link show Ethernet 0. The command IP link show Ethernet 0 displays detailed information about the network interface named Ethernet 0. This includes its current link status, such as whether it is up or down, its MAC address, MTU, and other configuration settings. It provides a comprehensive overview of the specified network interface's characteristics and status. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.